Hello, Randy Rain here, and this is how to make anything remote control. And what that means is how to use these little remote control kits. Now, I've already done a video on a four channel that I use all the time, and I thought it'd be a good video to make, and it turned out it was. It's now the most viewed video on my channel, and people wanted more of that. And of course, I didn't know what to do until I came across this little guy right here. This one checks all the boxes. For one, it could be easier to use than the one I showed previously. And it's real small, it's real cheap, and you can get it on Amazon. So you can see they just call it here the DC 3.7 volt to 12 volt mini remote relay one channel. And it comes with the remote and the circuit. Now you can see it has four stars. But let's go down here to these one stars. You got Doug here. Now Doug says something about fishing dock and there's a antenna for something and he needed to turn something on because it's high up or turn it off. It has something to do with the solar charger needs and stuff. And he says, I can't give it more than one star because it eats nine volt batteries in three days. A standard nine volt alkaline battery only has 500 to 600 milliamp hours. And so if you divide that by 72 hours, that means it drew seven to eight milliamps. That's nothing. Okay, you want a solution? Don't use a nine volt battery. So this guy gave it a one star because he doesn't know anything about batteries. This person says, save your money. It doesn't work. And the instructions are in broken English. Yes, the instructions are absolutely terrible. That's why I'm doing the video. Very complicated. This person says, well, they are wrong. It is not very complicated. Now this one failed, never worked. This one says everything, isn't it? And it's what I'm about to get into. Got it door project. Relay turns on no voltage output. I'm about to explain that because this is common. And then here last didn't work for me. Couldn't get to learn transmitter useless. You probably did it wrong. And But you know, sometimes you do get bad electronics. It happens. Well, I think it's kind of neat, even though I'm not a fan of relay switches. But when you make one that small, I mean, that's pretty cool. All right, so the first thing is to understand a relay switch. And believe it or not, more than once I've seen people not understand it. And I'll show you where they get it wrong. So let's just look at a switch. So let's say I have a piece of metal. A little thin piece of metal. And it's kind of springy there. You can push that down right there. And when you push it down, it'll hit that. Okay, so this, push it down, do, 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 and it'll hit that. And that's it. That's a switch. You could hook a wire here, you know, and go to a battery, run the wire over to here, have a red light bulb here, and then run it back to here. So now, every time you push that down and touch it, light bulb comes on. Simple. That is called an SPST switch. Single pole, single throw. This is the pole. The movement is the throw. Let's say we put another one right here. Okay. So now it's touching here when it's at rest. And when you push down, it's going to disconnect there and touch that one. When you let up, it's going to disconnect there and touch that one. So there you could also have another wire coming out over to here. And you could put yourself a green light bulb and then run it back to here as well. And so now when it's like this, this light bulb is lit up. But then when this gets pushed down to here, green bulb turns off and the red bulb lights up. This is called an SPDT. SPDT. Single pole, double throw. And that is the kind of switch that's on this little remote control circuit. Now, it's not all of this. This you have to put onto it. And you don't need your finger, so it's that. 
Now, instead of a finger, what it is, is a coil of wire. So when you put electricity into this coil of wire, it's going to create a magnetic field and pull that piece of metal down. Take the electricity away, it goes back. Now notice, and this is where they get everything wrong on relay switches. The electricity I'm putting in here has nothing to do with this up here. You have to connect it to here. This is not connected to that. And then here, here is your relay. This is the coil. This is common. This is normally open. And this is normally closed. That is what is on that little circuit. So of course it's connected to this circuit board and you have to put electricity to this circuit board. And that electricity that works this circuit board is going to run this coil. But note, the electricity that you put here has nothing to do with this up here. This is just a switch. You're just moving this piece of metal. So essentially what this circuit does, it's a remote control metal mover. It moves a piece of metal when you push the button. Now you can connect things to those pieces of metal and make it do stuff. That's how it works. It's a switch. So let's go over this and let me show you how to make it work. It says it can go from 3.7 volts up to 12 volts. So that's nice. And then there's these yellow and blue. And you can see the yellow is on that common and the blue is on the normally open. And there is a normally closed there in the center, but there's no wire connected to it. But if you need to use it for any reason, it's there. Now you're going to have to set it. There is a spot for a set button and it's these two little posts here right by this chip. And it even says set next to it. You could put two wires there and put a button onto it. Or just put two tiny little solder blobs there on each one. Don't get them connected. And that way you can easily jump it across with anything metal. And so I have a little breadboard here and I have it set up with three volts and five volts. I'm gonna put this LED here and off the three volts, this negative right here, negative and jump it over and then positive. I'm just going to put to right here and then it really doesn't matter common or normally open. So I'm just going to stick this blue one in to here and then the yellow one over to here like that. And so when this relay switch goes off, the positive will get to this and the negative is already there. On this side, I'll put that on the positive and that on to negative, just like that. And it's already came undone. There's our circuit and should be able to turn this LED on. There are three modes. There is latched, momentary, and toggle. Now it's automatically set at latched because of this little jumper right there. Maybe you can see that it says zero on it. That's the resistance. There's no resistance. It's just a jumper. And you can see the one next to it is not jump. Now to connect it to the remote, that's where the set comes in. But there's a way to clear it. Clear it is just by holding it down for five seconds. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. For latched, you hit the set connection. The LED will come on. Press the remote button A once. LED will flash three times. Then press the remote button B one time. The LED indicator will flash three times and it's supposed to be set. All right, so that should be set to latched. Now when I push A, the LED comes on. Push A again, nothing happens. B, B turns it off. Okay, so what's the difference between toggle? I don't know, maybe it does both buttons or something. We'll find out. But latched, I guess, latched is what I thought toggle would be. So that's probably A turns it on, B turns it off. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is remove this one here. There. All right. So now that side, that should be momentarily. Okay. It gives instructions for the latching and the momentary toggle, but they're the same instructions. All right, so let's just see if it still works from the last time. Turn it on. A. Yeah. Momentarily. B. Same thing. Yeah, so now as long as I hold down the button, it's going to be on. I let up. It goes off. Okay, I think I... Okay, I think I missaw the thing because you can't see anything with the pictures. I think one of them is nothing. So I'm going to get rid of both of them. Okay, so this is what it does with none of the jumpers. Ah, look at there. So A turns it on, A turns it off. And B doesn't do anything. Oh, I see. Momentary toggle is different by one. So for latch, you push the A and then you'll push the B. For momentary, you push A and then you push A again. Okay, fine. All right, let's look at the setup one more time to get this right. This is the way it comes. There are four pads. Two of them are connected, and it's the one where it says L. And they call this latching. This is probably the way you want it. What's going to happen is when you push A, it's going to turn on. When you push B, it's going to turn off. Now, if you get rid of this one and then jump this one, So now it is momentary. So you push the A or the B, and as long as you hold it down, it will be on. As soon as you let up the button, it goes off. That may be the other way you want it. Usually when I make stuff, this is the way it ends up being. But you can get rid of both of them. And this is what they call toggle. And this means when you push A, it comes on. And when you push A again, it goes off. And B doesn't do anything. All right, let's look at the instructions now. This is how you do it. You're going to jump the set pads. You connect and you let up. If you want to clear, you hold it down for five seconds. If you want to set it, it's touch and let up. The second thing, the LED will come on. You've jumped the set pads, you've seen the LED come on, you're just ignoring the flashing or whatever it's doing. You're going to push A on the remote. You will see three flashes. These will be fast flashes. Once you've seen that and they're done flashing, push B. You will see three more fast flashes. And now you're set. I don't know why they couldn't write it out like that, but they didn't. Then you have your wiring diagram, which one part is just absolutely wrong. So these two here, I mean, that uh, I get it. One showing that you can use the same electricity that you're powering the thing with. The other one showing you can have different electricity. Okay, makes sense. Notice where they're connected. Notice where the wires are connected. Now this one is showing you that you could hook a button up to the set thing. Except it doesn't show you connecting it to the set. It shows it connecting where the relay switch contacts are. That's not where it should be connected. You can put a button on there, but not there. Put it where it says set. Now if you need to use something that draws more than one amp, you could hook that relay switch and make it turn on a bigger relay switch. That is possible, but that's kind of redundant and kind of a waste. 
If that's the case, I would just go back to my other video and use this with the transistor. And if you need to go to AC, that transistor, could you turn on the relay and so forth. But this little guy is great for small little things. For instance, here is a Tomy Dustbot. This is a robot vacuum cleaner. It, there's literally a vacuum in it. it. Predates the Roomba way, way many years. You could fix it so that the switch turns this thing on and this turns the power on and then stuff all that in there. So now you could come on, turn that on, that turns this thing on, but it doesn't go. You would then use this to make it go. That's the kind of thing you would use this for. So there it is. I don't have any kind of affiliation with anything, so I'm just making the video. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. And I want to thank these people right here. These are the patrons. These are the people helping me out. These are the people who brought you this little mini microscopic little remote control that's actually pretty neat that Doug on the Amazon couldn't figure out. Anyway, so if you want to become a patron, there's links and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. What? Oh, the kitties. Oh, the kitties. Yeah, just lay down right there. Just lay down on my stuff. Yeah, just lay down on my stuff. Yeah. Oh, silly kitties. <laughs>